tell me, baby. Yeah, niggas, back on G Wiz TV. I got my niggas in the house, swing the camera around, cause this is all real shit. <laughs> my niggas see this at. My nigga man know. I'm right here on Wiz TV. All y'all know it. You know what I mean? I know y'all come to this site all the time. You know what I mean? It's a good day. Shout out Hip Hop Movie. You know what I mean? Setting this shit off straight up. Just checking out the new sauce. You know what I'm saying? Just came out. January issue, 2008, you know what I mean? Got my boy Escobar, about to come out with that new nigga album, you know what I mean? Brave one in, in store at the same time, so y'all check that out, you know what I'm saying? My album's dropping the same day that the, that the, the album nigga is dropping from Escobar, you know what I mean? So you will see the Brave one, which is my album, and, and, and nigga on the same shelves. Together, you know what I'm saying? This is that that the ad we just threw out for this January issue. Check it out thoroughly. My dude, Matt Harper, your boy G Wiz, you know what I'm saying? Guy Young, you know what I mean? Coming soon. Like I said, the brave one coming. You know what I mean? February. You know what I mean? Like I said, I want to take y'all back and I want to take y'all fast forward to what I'm doing now, you know what I'm saying? From the Brave Hearts to the House Gang, feel me? That's L. Will right here. Oh, that's the L. Will logo? Yeah, L. yeah. L. Will, well, baby. Me and my nigga Will got shot up together. He died, I survived, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We was rounding up some money for a cookout we was gonna throw, you know what I'm saying? We throw cookouts like every year in the summertime. As soon as it started getting hot, we round up money from everybody on the block. Throw a little cookout and shit. So we was doing that shit. Will was taking money from some Spanish kids, you know what I'm saying? And I guess the girls, like, one of the girls over there was like, yo, don't give them no money because they just gonna keep y'all money, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't gonna be able to eat at the cookout and shit. They gonna thug y'all out. Don't give them this nigga no money. So we were like, what? Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? One thing led to another. She, um, I think she popped his chain or something. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't dead. She popped his chain. He beat her up. You know what I'm saying? So fucking, um, he had like the biggest chain in the projects around that time and shit. So she popped this shit. He beat her up. One thing led, she called her baby pops. One, you know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, we young little kids and shit. The hell baby pops is out here looking for him. You know what I'm saying? We don't realize it. And the dude stepped to me first. Like, they had guns and shit. I'm like 15, 14. They like, yo, where's your man Will? I'm like, Will who? You know what I'm saying? But they dude was like ready to draw. Like, every, you know what I'm saying? Just pulling. I'm like, I don't know no fucking Will. So they was like, all right, dude. And then when they left, I was like, all right, we got to tell Will. We got to find Will. So he came on a block later on on a bike. You know what I'm saying? As soon as he pulled up, I, I walked over there like, yo, son, these niggas is looking for you. They not playing when them niggas was doing them, you know what I'm saying, or that. And right, right when I was telling them that shit, somebody yelled out, here they come. Here they come. You know what I'm saying? So we look back, you see two dudes coming. I'm like, yeah, these them niggas right now. So he was on a bike still, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, I was like, yo, what the fuck we gonna do? He was like, fuck these niggas, you know what I'm saying? We ain't running from nobody. I ain't really, we never run, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, no doubt. So I'm looking back like, all right, we gonna, you know what I'm saying, maneuver out of this. Dude gonna pull out, we gonna swing on him. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking something. But never death. Duke pulled out two two words. Why you do that to my baby mom? It's like, you know what I'm saying? All shots after that. You know what I'm saying? It's like no playing, no nothing. But so Will looked at me. I didn't even realize he wasn't even looking at me. He was looking through me. He was dead with his eyes open. I was bugging. You know what I'm saying? I was only 14. I couldn't even move. Duke turned around, start aiming at me with the, with the closed eye and shit. You know what I'm saying? I just I just stood there like fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But he started, he shot, bow, bow, bow. He hit me in my leg and shit. Or, but I was all right, you know what I'm saying? But that shit turned me out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I was mad young, like 14 or some shit. Or, or I think Nas got on, just got a deal like a couple of months later, you know what I'm saying? Boom, right after that, Word. he got a deal. Right, like, not even, not even three months, man, Word. like, 
I ain't just even got that deal. That was, that was it. Right from there. Oh, shit. shit just turned around 360. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's real. That's real. And that's ill. Right. You know what I'm saying? I wish my nigga was here, though. You know what I'm saying? But she would have seen that. that you know though. He's still here. Well, but he you know here. Yeah, well, will rest in peace, you know, yeah. you know, that's forever. If my dog was here, he'd be smacking a lot of motherfuckers that was phony. We ain't even gonna get into all that, though. Niggas met big at a, uh, it was a show, it was a show somewhere in the city. And um, they were showcasing all the new talent that was coming out. And, and you know, Nas was there. He was supposed to perform on um, this song called Halftime and shit. So, nigga, we all up there nice and deep like we always do. You know what I mean? QB. Be up there deep. And um, this chick I was talking to at the time, she was from Brooklyn. She knew Big and shit. And she used to always tell me, yo, my nigga Big, she up here. He take your man out. And he talking about now. He be like, yo, he take your man out. That nigga, that nigga, uh, that nigga wipe your man on the round tip. I'm like, yo, I don't even know what you talking about. One nigga is the best on the planet. I don't even know what you're talking about. So Shorty was at the party and, and I seen her. So she was like, yo, my nigga Big is here and shit. He's right here. You can read perform. I'm like, why? Well, right, that's what's up. And then we seen homie perform, man. That nigga was crazy. We sitting there like, yo. I was like, yo, nah, this nigga is a problem. If he get a deal, he's a problem. The next couple months, nigga Puff signed the nigga. It was all sealed and delivered. Nigga set to come out and everything. That shit was crazy. But we knew big all the way to the day, you know what I'm saying? God bless his life to the day he died, you know what I'm saying? I seen him the day he died. I remember Puff used to say, yo, Wanna wanna manage knives and shit. And he used to come around and be like, yo, be like, yo man, y'all niggas, what y'all want, man? Tell this nigga to sign. Tell this nigga Nas and Biggie, that's what come on, man. Come on, I need you now. I was like, oh this nigga with his shit. You know what I mean? You know, now I'm supposed to get on that biggie, give me one more chance. He's supposed to get on that one day and shit, man. So he's over there in the hip factory. He walked across the street. We walking across the street and, and the motherfucking cab playing chicken with us. It's like 17 of us walking across the street. I had to kick the car. Boom, kick the car. The car skidded. Two big ass D's jumped out. He was rasping your boy to the floor. <coughs> rasping your nigga to the floor. I'm on the floor. I'm nigga looking up. I'm like, yo, these niggas looking at me like, fuck you, kick the car for? Like, yo, I'm looking at these things like, yo. Do so. So these niggas put me in the car. They like, yeah, your boy gonna be over there in the precinct. They take me in the precinct. I'm sitting in there about 10 minutes. The door click over. I see a nigga, he like, yeah, yeah, that's him. This nigga pops down. I'm like, yeah, that's him right there. The nigga like, yeah, so I'm like, yeah, you lucky, you know what I'm saying? You lucky, you know this man, right? Here. I'm like, ah, whatever. The nigga pops like, yeah, you got I'm like, yeah, good, let's do it. He go die. I'm like, yo, good, lucky, nigga. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, that's nothing. You know what I mean? That's nothing. We, we got the cops. Like, he said some crazy sports. Like, yeah, we got the cops. It is. Them dudes is nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, ah, that's some shit, nigga. That's power. You want to try to do the joint? You know what I mean? Nigga, now it's some reason he wanted to go. I was like, why you want to go? But he just left. He wanted to go. So I never knew why he wanted to leave, but end up not doing the record. Nas coming up, fucking, we rolling in the club and shit. We up in Washington rolling in the club and shit. You know what I mean? You know, one of the little niggas that was with us, and he was like, yo, that's Tupac. I was like, oh shit. He's like, yo, what up, nigga? He turned around, he's like, yo, what up? So my nigga, my nigga Penn, we, we call him Thun. Thun was like, yo, um, here, son. That nigga Pop's like, what's this? I was like, yeah, that's Henny, son, that's Henny, straight up. Nigga Pop turned that bottle up, and guzzle on that shit, that shit was ill. Nigga, the nigga was like, yo, that shit's good. I was like, oh shit. 
Nigga pass it over the thunder shit. We we mass. He was like, yo, I'ma holler at y'all niggas. Turn spit back on the shore, yeah, and I hit hard. We we casing through the joint. Nah, I just uh, got on, did the show, wait for God. Four, four. You know, as he was doing halftime shit at the time. We hear nigga yelling and screaming and shit. What's up, nigga? Ah, West nigga, this West Coast nigga, da da da. I was like, yo, who the fuck is that? That nigga probably was like, yo, what up, nigga? He was like, yo, I wait for God with the four four. He had a bottle hanging in his head, big giant bottle. He was like, I wait for God with the four four. Yeah, nah, I said, what up, nigga? West Coast, West Coast, he was rapping. Nigga was rapping. I was like, oh, man, nigga, I like that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Seeing him again, you know what I mean? Maybe two, three weeks before he was the, the Vegas, the whole Vegas shit. Verbal shit, you know what I mean? Even coming, getting ready to come to blows, you know what I'm saying? Like on some crazy shit, like, like, you know what I mean? Like just, just, just facing off, but you know what I'm saying? Everything changed, the dynamics of everything changed, so you know, so you never got a chance to really connect with them. So, but, you know, it was love there, you know what I mean? It was definitely love. You know, I mean, 2001, I had my baby girl. You know, when she was born, she had a kidney disease, so uh, they had to take one away. They took one away, and as time was going on, she, you know, it wasn't getting, to, 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 uh, you know, the whole situation wasn't getting better. One thing led to another. My baby girl ended up in the hospital, and, you know, I told them, like, yo, um, like, why can't I give him mine? And he was like, well, you know, 50, it's, it's like a, a, a 60, 40 chance that, you know, the parents is a, um, a perfect match. You know, there are about 300 local children getting kidney transplants this year. Not all the donors come from family. Each parent, as we know, has a 50% chance of being a match. They, they took some blood and they did all the tests and it, and it came back that I was a match. I was perfectly matched with my daughter. So, you know, the day came for um, us to have surgery, gave my little girl a kiss, said, yo, everything gonna be good. We went in there, dressed us up, just woke up, and it was like, yo, this shit went good. It was, it was, it was, you know, everything was good. A family in Queens has extra reasons to be grateful tonight. A dad and his five-year-old daughter began the month in the hospital. But now both of them are thriving, and the little girl has a new chance at life, all thanks to a rare gift from her dad. Seven's on call with Dr. Jay Adlersberg. Michael Ebbs can't pick up his daughter, Ciara, because of his recent surgery, but there's no holding back on the love he has for his little girl. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. You know you love your children, but you don't feel how deep the love is until something like this happens to your family. What happened was that Diana and Michael's little girl was very sick. While now an active and happy child who loves playing with her younger siblings, Sierra was born with a rare kidney abnormality. She lost one kidney when she was two and was now losing the other. She needed and got a kidney transplant. It came from her dad. It was a no-brainer, you know? It was like, my daughter needs it, I'm compatible. And I just did it. It was, I didn't think twice, you know. The surgery took place at New York Presbyterian while Cornell three weeks ago. One of Michael's kidneys was transplanted into Ciara. Size was not an issue. Even in small children like that, we can take an adult kidney and make room inside the small child and have that organ uh, function um, really very perfectly. Sierra is on medications now and will stay on some the rest of her life. Her new kidney should last 20, perhaps 30 years. Michael, a rap musician known as Wiz, hopes to soon be back to his music. Oh, so grateful. Everything is good. Yeah. As for Diana, who'd been splitting her time between dad and Ciara in the hospital and her other children at home, Thanksgiving will be spent with family, with someone else doing the cooking. We're going to go to our, uh, um, my aunt's house and just enjoy the food. I, I'm still catching up on sleep, so no cooking for me. Maybe Christmas. This is Dr. Jay Adlersberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. You know what I mean? I'm getting this first on GBS TV. You know what I mean? I'm letting niggas know all this shit, but 
you know, it's time though, because I feel good, my girl is good. So, we said it was all good, so, you know what I mean? I need to get back to what I do. And for all my niggas that know what I do, you know I do it. So, house game, which I know, you know what I mean? Hip hop movie.